In today's video, we're going to talk about how to stop overeating and what I call the hunger and fullness scale. Hi, I'm Linda Poirier with BodiesAfterBabies.com and welcome to my channel where I help mummies of all ages fit into their jeans, get their sexy back, and find a life of happy. How many times have you snacked on food at night while watching TV and then BAM! You look down, you finished what you've eaten and you didn't even realize it. Or you think you're hungry and you're actually just bored so you go find something to eat. Or we sit down for our dinner and we eat really quickly and we eat the whole thing on our plate that it doesn't even give us time to register that we're actually full. Or our portions are too big and we eat everything on that plate. I know for me growing up, we had to sit there and eat everything on our plate. And to this day, I have to be careful because when I eat, I have that same thing that I have to eat everything on my plate. And it wasn't until maybe 10 years ago that I actually realized that's what I was doing. So awareness is super key to having these issues and finding a resolution for it. When I grew up, I had to eat everything on my plate and it carried through my whole life. We'll go out for dinner and if the portions are too big, I consciously look at it and go, okay, you know, I can't eat that much otherwise I'm going to gain weight. But I will eat everything on there if I'm not conscious of it. And it's just one of those things you just start, start eating. I'm used to it. I grew up with it. And unless you change that habit and be conscious of it, you're going to still do it. This tool that I'm going to talk about is really powerful. It really helped me, it's helped other people, and I hope it helps you too. You'd be amazed at what you learn about yourself and your patterns when you become aware. So what I call the hunger and fullness scale can be used both for hunger and the degree of fullness you are. You can use this when you are hungry and assess the degree of hunger that you actually are at. Or if you think you are hungry and just wanting to eat out of boredom, sadness, you know, emotional eating. You can also use it while you're eating to assess and be aware of the degree of fullness that you are so that you know when to stop. Okay, so how to do it. On the hunger scale, ask yourself, am I really hungry? Am I bored? Am I just eating because I'm mad? Am I eating because I'm sad? Is my stomach actually empty or is it that I'm thirsty? Or am I craving food for another reason like acceptance and love and something to make us feel good? I'm a chocoholic. The first thing I will do if I'm upset, if I'm sad, if I'm mad, if I'm nervous, if I have anxiety, I will go for chocolate. So I have to be aware of that, but that's my thing is just, yeah, straight to the chocolate, need it, want it, can't get enough of it. If you assess yourself and you're like, yeah, I'm actually hungry, then figure out where you're at in the hunger scale. Are you famished? Like, I could eat the dead end of a horse. <laughs> or, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know where that came from. So on a scale from one to 10, one is you're famished, like borderline hangry, not full at all, you need to eat. From two to three, you're hungry. This is when you should eat. You're not full, you're hungry. You're not hangry, but you're hungry. From four to six, you are satisfied, you're comfortably full, you don't want to push it anymore because then you're going to be full. This is when you should stop eating. So seven to nine is when you're uncomfortably full. And number 10 is you're stuffed. You gotta unzip the zipper. You gotta undo the pants. It is Thanksgiving dinner and you are ridiculously full. And most likely regretting what you ate. So as you eat, you check in with where you're at. When you're just right and comfortable, which is at four to six mark, you stop and there's no regrets. I love this. It took me some time to figure it out only because, oh yeah, I forgot to do that. And it takes a bit of practice. But once you do it, it's really helpful. So you sit down, you have your food in front of you, you assess yourself. Okay, I'm ridiculously hungry, which means I gotta be careful not to overeat. So here's some extra tips to help you along the way. Be sure to take time to actually chew your food. It sounds so silly, I know we chew our food, but some people inhale their food, or if you're in a rush, sit down, 
take your time and actually chew your food and enjoy what you're eating. When we slow down, we're less likely to overeat because we're shoveling ourselves so fast that our brain doesn't even know to say, hey, I'm full. So take your time and chew your food. Drink water with your meal. That'll help you with that fullness and it'll help you to not overeat. The other suggestion I love is to use a different size bowl or plate. Instead of the big dinner plates, put your food on a smaller plate. Your mind actually psychologically thinks you're eating a big plate, even though the portions are smaller. I have a client in my past who ate ice cream and he would have a bucket of ice cream each night in front of the TV, a full on bucket of ice cream. By just changing the portion sizes, but him still going, oh, awesome, I still get a full bowl of ice cream. He was eating over half less than what he was typically eating and he lost 80 pounds by just changing his ice cream habit at night. And I also want to add, he had a full thing of whipped cream also with that ice cream. So he would just put a little bit on there, he'd enjoy his bowl, his brain was thinking, I still have a full bowl, and he was satisfied and he lost 80 pounds. So that's another wonderful trick, I do really like it. Another tip is don't eat from the package. You're standing there at the sink, you're shoveling food in, or you're just grabbing a package, put it in a bowl. Be wary of the calories, obviously read the labels, and I'll do another video on a label soon, but read the label and check out what your portion is, put it in a bowl, that helps to not overeat as well. Now this is another hard part, I know sometimes we crave things, but try and eat the healthy option first. See if the healthy thing first helps satisfy those cravings. And I really hope that this can help with those of you who have troubles overeating. I know there's different types of overeating. This one really helps with assessing yourself. And it's just the beginning journey of really learning how you are. And over time, these things get better and it really helps you, it really helps me. I mean, there's days where I'm in a rush and I'm shoveling food and I have to remind myself too, but you know what? It's so good to just sit there and go, yeah, here's where I'm at. Okay, I'm eating, am I full? Yes. Then I don't eat anymore. And maybe you need to have a conversation with yourself. Okay, I don't need anymore, I'm actually full. I'm just gonna have the rest of my water and call it a day or call it a couple hours till I eat again. So action steps this week, try it, comment below what you thought of it, maybe you need help on it, maybe you loved it, comment below. If you like this video or like the idea of the video, please click the like button below, click the subscribe button and I'd love for you to be a part of my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Put this before. I don't, I don't know what I want to say, you guys. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to be, oh, how to stop overeating. Click the subscribe, click the subscribe button. Ah.